new robotics teams from around the Midwest will duke it out in the Seven Rivers Regional First Robotics Competition. It's one of two regional competitions in the state this year. That action takes place the weekend of March 31st at the La Crosse Center. And joining us this morning with a preview, we have Jason Jones. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Mike. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So 54 different high schools are going at it, including many of our local schools. What do competitions look like at a, at a robotics competition like this, Jason? Well, each year they change up what the uh, actual skills are going to be. Uh, this year, what they are doing, each team had to build a robot. They had six weeks to build it. They will be picking up like traffic cones and putting those onto pillars, as well as foam blocks and putting those into specific areas. Then they have to work with their other two coalition team members from different teams to get on a balance beam and try to balance for points also. So they change up everything each year for the schools so they can't just say, hey, we had a good robot last year, so we're gonna be good this year. Everybody gets a fair shot at things and it's a pretty intense things these kids do. Yeah, and you mentioned how, how long does it take for them to create robots like this? They have six weeks to build these robots, which is very amazing. Yeah, so they're quick, they're moving fast, uh, trying to make the best of the best. And, and for this competition, how does it work? Is the top three teams, top five teams move on? What they do, uh, they have uh, competitions all day Friday and Saturday at the lacrosse center. And the top three teams, when all the dust is settled, will move on to the Nationals, which is in Texas. So it's kind of uh, like March Madness for the, for the robotics teams, really. Yeah, really high stakes. I mean, you're yeah. competing. I'm sure it's going to be very intense uh, out there at the Lacrosse Center. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you're looking for more volunteers. How can people get involved with this? Correct, yes. Our whole thing is volunteer-based. Uh, without volunteers like myself and my committee, who are great, we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, what you can do is go to firstinspires.org backslash volunteers, do all the uh, necessary online stuff, and we'll get you set up with any kind of position. The biggest thing we need right now, it's labeled as crowd control. It's more of an access control. Um, don't be afraid for crowd control. These kids are great, their families are great. They come, they all have a good time. They hoot, they holler, they cheer. There's really no need for a crowd control. It's a, it's a good time. You get a nice t-shirt, you get lunch, you get your appreciation, so please come help us out. Yeah, and it's for the kids, I mean. Exactly, I mean, they're, the STEM education they're getting and the skills they're showing off, it's really great. Well, Jason, I really appreciate you taking some time to chat with me today and talk a little bit more about this competition. Thanks for having me.